Hello, thank you for coming. Let's get to some reading. Dry tears. Sometimes a big hug means more than anything you can say. Al Soka. How to comfort a loved one. Step one, be there. When you know your loved one is upset, don't avoid or confront her. Just be available and ready to listen when she's ready to talk. Step two, offer a shoulder. Even if you don't think there's anything you can do to make your loved one feel better, asking if you can help can make all the difference. Float the idea and see if she'll accept it. Then be prepared to hear what she has to say. And rather than immediately offering advice or trying to fix what ails her, validate her feelings and show that you truly understand. Step three, be patient. Continuing to com comfort your loved one beyond the time you think she should be have bounced back from the challenge is half the battle. Just remember that everyone heals at their own pace. And ultimately, you want your loved one to thoroughly work through her emotions so she can be happy. Step four, offer encouragement. Remind her of how much you love her and appreciate her and set a good example of looking on the bright side. Your joy and strength can elevate those around you. More handy tips. You do not have to fully understand what your friend or family member is going through to be supportive. Just because you don't feel her pain doesn't mean she shouldn't either. You got to take care of yourself first in order to be able to take care of others. If you need support too, reach out to your own friends, family members, or even a professional. You do not have to go it alone. If all else fails, try to make her laugh or turn to page 253 to learn on how to tell a clean joke. Just be there. That is the most important aspect of helping someone, whether it be male, female, eight to 80, so forth and so on. Just be there and listen. And when they need you to interject, you will, you will know by body language, or other other clues. Why is my dog barking? All right, well, gotta go.